So, tell me everything you know about King Taksin the Great of Thailand. Hmm, I thought so. Your answer is going to be somewhere between very little and absolutely nothing. Am I right? Well, stay tuned to this episode of Travels with Bart because you're about to be edified or edumacated or something like that. This is Wat Khao Kun Panom and it's in Nakhon Sitamarat province, about 15 kilometers to the west of uh, Nakhon Sitamarat city, which is, I don't know, over there somewhere. Anyways, let's have a quick look around first. And so, right, you've seen it now. So it's goodbye from Bert and it's goodbye from me and now I'm just kidding. Actually, today we have a bit of a mystery on our hands. If you watch that TV show, I would say called Death in Paradise, well, it won't be quite as exciting as that, but that's not saying much, is it? And of course, it features King Taksin the Great, who you might be able to see just behind me. The statue is black and doesn't show very well against the, the green, but he's over there somewhere. And he lived mostly in Ayutthaya from 1734 to 1782 or thereabouts, and that's where the mystery comes in. Actually, he was a major figure in the liberation of uh, Siam from the Burmese forces, and that made him a great hero. And he was also known as the founder of modern-day Siam, or what is now Thailand. And he unified all of the provinces from way up north to way down here. We're in the south of Thailand, so it covered a big area. And he was the founder of a place called Tonburi, which is now part of Greater Bangkok. So he actually founded the new capital of the country, which is why he's called Taksin the Great. And that's the end of this very, very, very long story, or what could be a very long story. But he's actually known for one more thing, because in his early life he was a tax collector. So you could say he wasn't just taxing the great, he was also taxing the people. But it's his latter years that are relevant to today's temple visits. Actually, temple visits, yes, we're going to go to two of them. So after all of his successes, he was made king of Siam. But, and I quote Wikipedia because I would never make any negative comment about any member of any royal family, but Wikipedia claims that in his latter years, he went slightly bonkers, shall we say. And as a result, he was deposed and later he was sentenced to death. And that's where the mystery comes in. You see, the people up north will claim that he was executed and buried in the royal palace in Bangkok, whereas the people down here in the south will claim that it was actually one of his relatives that was executed and he managed to escape and he ended up here in this temple which he had been to many times before, but he actually lived for a few years right here and believed to be in a, in a cave just over there somewhere, which we'll visit in a moment. So we actually don't know what happened to him. Anyways, more on that later. Let's have a wander around. Let's go up the steps and up into the cave and see if we can find King Taksin's ghost.
Well, somebody has very kindly donated a couple of bottles of water. I think those must be a couple of fans and a toilet roll. I uh, don't think I'll need that. Anyway, so I'll see you down the bottom. Oh, I didn't say bottom. Well, that was interesting. And through the magic of YouTube editing, we're now going to go to Wat Pradu Patanaram. And we're pretty much in the center of Nakhon Sitamarat city, about 15 kilometers from where we were before. Uh, one website describes this as the most overlooked temple in the city, partly because it's believed to contain the ashes of King Taksin the Great. Yes, him again but I have no idea where they are. But supposedly, if his ashes are here, and supposedly his body is in Bangkok, why doesn't somebody do a DNA test? Well, perhaps it's too late for that. Fittingly, though, the, the temple compound contains one or two Chinese-style buildings, which is appropriate because King Taksin was believed to be half Chinese, and in fact spoke one of the dialects fluently. So, to be honest, there really isn't that much to see here, so we're not going to bother to see it. If it's the most overlooked temple in the city, I think it probably should stay overlooked. So, we're not going to solve the mystery of King Taksin. Is he up there? Is he here? Is he someplace else? We have no idea. So, for now, it's goodbye from Bert and it's goodbye from me. Goodbye!